the island of Hawaii, or the Big Island, known for its lava fields, dynamic landscapes, and beautiful beaches. With so much to do and see in this island, it could be a little difficult to plan your vacation. What to do, what to see, where to go, you don't want to miss out on anything. That's why I created this guide for you so that you can know the top 10 things to do on the island of Hawaii from a local's perspective. So, starting the countdown at number 10, attending a luau. A luau is a great introduction to the Hawaiian culture. Infused with fire, Tahitian, and hula dancing, you'll be taking on an adventure through dance numbers while also learning some Hawaiian phrases and trying traditional and modern Hawaiian cuisine. There are many luau's to choose from, but the most popular here is Island Breeze, which offers multiple shows throughout the week. We're heading up the mountain to number 9, stargazing on Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea is the tallest mountain in the world from sea level up and hosts the largest astronomical observatory with 13 active telescopes. You can learn more at the visitor center and in the winter or during the heavy rain season it actually snows. You do need to have all for a little drive to go and bring warm clothes and snacks. But besides an amazing sunset view, what you really need to see is the stars. Next up is South Point Cliff and Beach. This is the most southern tip of the United States. The view is so amazing and the drive is filled with beautiful wildlife. Here, you can find locals fishing and jumping off the 50-foot cliff and the lava tube that leads right out to the ocean. There's also a green sand beach a little further south. It's the most popular green sand beach in Hawaii and one of four green sand beaches worldwide. You can hike in, but it's long and hot and not fun. So either bring a four-wheel drive vehicle or pay a fee to locals who provide rides in and out. From stargazing to cliff jumping, next is number seven, Volcano National Parks. Kilauea is the most active volcano in the world and its last largest lava flow was in May 3, 2018. There is no lava flowing now, but you can still go to the visitor center to learn about the volcano and even go on ranger-led hikes. Okay, this next is a must when visiting Hawaii. Number six is zip lining. What better way to see Hawaii's forests than zip right through them? There are a few different tours and companies you can take, but they're all amazing. Our forest is the only canopy beach in Rhode Island. You'll get to zip through lush forests, rivers, and sometimes waterfalls, but I'll let the video speak for itself. Number five is Waipio Valley. It's the largest of six valleys on the Hawaiian island and you need all four wheel drive to get down to the beach and explore. It dates back hundreds of years ago used by Hawaiians to grow and harvest taro and other crops. There you can find wild horses, a beautiful black sand beach, waterfalls, and a river that leads straight to the ocean. I definitely recommend coming here and spending at least a few hours or the whole day as there's so many parts that make it special. But moving on to number four, we're heading north to go horseback riding to see another waterfall. <laughs> Wailea Horseback Adventure is located next to Umama River. They specialize in group tours of the surrounding area through pastures where they tell you a little about the island and its history with branching before taking you to eat lunch and swim in a waterfall. <laughs> if you're coming to visit during November to April, then you have to do number three, which is whale watching. Humpback whales come to Hawaii's safe warm waters to mate and give birth. They usually can be seen from shore in between Maui and the Big Island. 
Seeing whales for the first time is definitely an incredible experience, but I don't think it beats number two, swimming with manta rays. Swimming with manta rays at night is one of the coolest things you can do. Attracted by the plankton that is seen in the light, mantas have been coming to this location for years and it's become very popular to swim with them. It's so thrilling being in the water with these huge animals, especially at night. Please remember to never touch them as the oils on your skin are harmful. Observe and wait for them to come and interact with you. I had so much fun scuba diving and snorkeling with these animals, but it can't beat number one, swimming with dolphins. So you have two options. You can book a tour with a local company that'll take you to locations around the island to try to find dolphins. Once you find them, all you have to do is jump in. But the only downside is you will be with a lot of people and your time will be limited. So I recommend going south to a snorkel spot called Two Step and Na Po'o Po'o. Dolphins hang out in the morning and in the afternoon. Once you've seen them from shore, you just jump right in and follow their calls. about traveling to Hawaii, feel free to check out my blog at nondisabroad.com, which I will link below. But if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for future travel videos. Until next time, aloha!